Hey, and welcome back to another episode of the Right Hand Drive Guys, the podcast for guys who like right hand drives. And I'm Bobby. This is Aaron. Hey, yo. And today we have another marketplace episode. We got all of the dopest JDM deals on Facebook Marketplace that we could find in the month of May. So we usually how this goes, if you haven't done it before, uh, we go back and forth finding different cars from different regions. Uh, I personally had like the west side of the United States. Where'd you do? I did Atlanta. Atlanta. So mine is a little bit more broad than his, but uh, I'm sure we both found some pretty dope cars. Yeah, Atlanta has a huge scene. Yeah, so uh, like kind of like last month where you were saying like, um, Nebraska, North Dakota, like it was all mail trucks. I yeah. started in that area, uh, and that pretty much seemed to be the case. And if they did have anything, it was higher priced than anywhere else that we normally look. Um, right. So I only found a few from there, and then I just traveled west afterwards. So my first car is a 1995 Honda Today. And it's not a tomorrow. No, it isn't. It's today, and it was actually listed today about an hour ago. Wow. Yeah, in fresh. Rockford, Illinois. So this is super fresh, and I did try to lean towards any that I could find that were fresh like this, just so it wasn't anything that was maybe just sitting there and the owner didn't take it off. Right. So this guy from Rockford, Illinois, he doesn't really list much about the car. His description literally just says 1995 Honda today, right hand drive runs and drives. Great. Yeah. So I don't even know the mileage. Judging by the pictures, it is like a clean car. And I would say that it's at um, some sort of dealership. Uh, I mean, I personally, I mean, I don't mind the Honda today's. They're obviously like, an yeah. older K car. And um, I think that there is like a market for these, but at 6,995, I can't tell if it's worth it right. because of the mileage. If I knew, you know, if it was like 180,000 kilometers or 80,000 kilometers, that would really make a difference. Right. But it is clean and it is available because probably I'm one of the only guys that's even seen this so far. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you got? Uh, I got another goofy Honda for you. It's a 97 uh, Honda Orthia. 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 Yeah, it's like, if you don't know what that is, it's, I don't know, it's kind of like a weird mashup between an Accord and a Civic, and they made a wagon. This one Yeah, it's a wagon. wagon. Yeah. Uh, it's all-wheel drive. Uh, it's only got 80,000 miles on it. Um, listed about a day ago, Roswell, Georgia. Uh, I believe these have a B20 in them. It has, I think it's some sort of B series. It's a two liter. That it's would a be two a, liter. Yeah, yeah it's got to be a B20. So the same thing that came in the older CRVs and whatnot. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, I mean, seems like a decent little car. Uh, asking eighty-seven fifty for it. Eighty-seven fifty. Yep. That hmm. was in Roswell, New Mexico, Georgia. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, those type of cars, that's probably hard. I know if I was going to import cars, I would have a hard time, even though there is a market for everything. Yeah. You know, sometimes you have to work to sell something and sometimes something sells itself. And I feel like cars like that, you have to work to sell it. Yeah. A lot of the, a lot of times I see cars like these or similar types, uh, the person had imported them themselves. So oh, it's probably something that they it. were into it or maybe they had one while they were stationed overseas or whatever it might be. But they end up bringing one over and then try to sell it on Marketplace and, well... Flop. It might sit on there for a bit. That is unique, though. Yeah. Um, so I found a... Uh, you know, I'm really confused, right? So this is a 99 Alteza. Yeah. And it's white in color again. And... It's it was listed a day ago in Lombard, Illinois, and it's six speed manual. He's got a clean title for it. It looks like it's in mint condition, and he does state that in the description. They again no mileage, but for fourteen thousand bucks, 
Yeah. I feel like when I was looking through these, a lot of them were more. They were closer to the 18 to 22 mark. Yeah. So I don't know what the motor is in this thing, if it's like a good one or not. But yeah. at 14 grand and it's that clean, it should be like a little like if you want to use it for drifting, it would be kind yeah, of yeah. perfect, you know? Yeah. I mean, Altezas, they're pretty decent buy. Like you can get those for a good price, you know, definitely cheaper than a Skyline for sure. Oh, yeah, and yeah. it's a newer car, a little bit more modern, not as clunky, I guess you it's could say. It's got the fighter cockpit thing the, the, the what the, the, fighter, whoa, the what the dude? fighter <laughs> cockpit cluster yeah that's what it has um but yeah i mean over in illinois they got one for 14 grand if you're in the market maybe check it out heck yeah cool up for me i got a 1999 toyota chaser jzx 100 right hand drive uh it's listed about two weeks ago this guy's asking 13 997 for the um, chaser. Yeah, it must be a dealer with that type of pricing. <laughs> yeah, 997, yeah. <laughs> uh, no real info, but if I had to guess, this is probably going to be an NA automatic grandma car. Um, yeah, not, not a ton of info on this one, but it looks cool. It's white. It's got the chaser, typical chaser look to it. So if you're, if you're in the market, that's a cheap one. And how long ago did they list it? Uh, about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. In Lawrenceville. Lawrenceville. Uh, so I have, I think, yeah, my first Skyline of the night. Uh, and it is an 89 GTR. And it is gray in color, I th- believe. Yeah, I think all those were. <laughs> yeah, it looks it. And so it's got a completely built RB26, uh, you know, down to the harnesses. Uh, it's got bearings, rods, pistons. Um, you know, all that stuff, PRP crank trigger kit, it's pretty loaded up. Another one that just doesn't list the mileage. I, I guess because it's a built motor, maybe, you know, he's just not, um, I mean, it's got wheels. The interior looks really clean. Um, and this is in Murfreesboro. Oh, wow. Illinois. Look how it's spelled. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not literally, Murfreesboro. It's, yeah, it's Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, dude. And he did list this about three months ago. Um, I mean, with all the motor work and stuff he's got done, I can see why he's asking forty eight grand. The market on these is softened up, so I'm not sure if that's what he's gonna get or not. You yeah. know, I mean, three months. If this is still available, that's why. Right. You know, like I saw one of these. With low compression in one piston for twenty five or six thousand bucks. Yeah, yeah. I'm. J- I was just like, holy moly, that's, that's pretty cheap. cheap, you know. So, um, but I mean, if you were looking for something that is prepared to make power and has been been, been built, I mean, you could save some money by going this route. Right. However, as we all know, if you've ever bought in a car from somebody who had it done, it's just not always what all, you yeah. would have done or right. or maybe even um done right so murphy murphy's borough illinois <laughs> sick uh up next for me i got a 1994 suzuki jimny right hand drive samurai cool that's uh how it's listed <laughs> uh listed about a month ago in brazelton georgia uh asking 8750 um no mileage on this one. Why do they keep doing this? Yeah, I know. It's we picked weird, all right? the ones without mileages today, I guess. Uh, it's an automatic with turbo. Wow, auto turbo. Uh, has AC, but compressor is not working. And this wow. is a hardtop model. I mean, if you're into Jimny's, this looks like a pretty cool one. It's banana wow, yellow. Wow, yeah, I don't know it is if with that's, the hood scoop. Yeah, 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 Big scoop. Yes. Uh, I mean. I think it's dope if you're, like, one of those people. Right, you know, right, which right. is fine. It's just if you're into those, then that's probably a cool one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I mean, samurais. I haven't seen a samurai here in the states, and we had those. I haven't seen one of those in so long. So long, yeah. No, but I dude, know. you go to Japan, you see these jimnies everywhere, everywhere, yeah. everywhere. and it's they're insane. still making like aftermarket making parts and like all that stuff for them. Yeah. There's companies dedicated to them, like. It's definitely wild, yeah. And I just, I mean, you know that there are guys that are into those here. Yeah. You know, those little niche, like, 
groups of people oh, that yeah. are heavy Jimny fans, you know, and I'm sure one of those guys will scoop it up pretty quick. Oh yeah, they should. Uh, how long ago was that listen? About a month ago. Um, so I have another skyline, and this one intrigues me. This one is an '89 GTR, uh, and it's like completely like done as far as like it's got wide body it's got like some sort of chameleon paint job oh, yeah. it's got and it's got a whole veal side kit uh oh, wow yeah it's it's like pretty legit and it's a one owner and he has owned it for eight years which is pretty much since it could be imported yeah uh and i mean it's pretty clean like the car is pretty clean now there is no engine in it okay <laughs> but this dude in this is a titled car is selling it for fifteen thousand. Pooh, for and a shell pretty for much a for shell, a shell yeah for a roller just all you need is the motor he says and Damn. it's like clean like the interior is like nice like yeah, it's yeah, yeah. like clean and i'm like why is this guy why? And so again, this was only listed four hours ago oh, in wow. Lakeville, Minnesota. Yeah. And so That's it's just deal. one of those things. This dude's had it for eight years. He must just want to get a Mustang or something. Yeah. It's got it's <laughs> it's got the transmission and everything. All you need is the literal long the, log. Yeah. Like that's I mean, dude, for fifteen grand, like if especially if he includes all the the broken engine. Yeah, like, if he cool. included that, that, that would be a nice. Steal. I don't know if that's the case. I have a feeling that the um, engine was built or something. Uh, like, you know, like the engine was worth some money. Right. I, right, I have right. a feeling because I would assume he tried to sell this as one for a while and it I didn't see, work I out see. because, I mean, the car actually is nice. If you're looking to build something that's not a right. OEM plus vehicle and you want to go hard, this has a full wheel side kit with freaking chameleon pain or whatever the hell <laughs> it is you know um yeah but yeah i mean for 15 grand if you're looking for a shell like you might want to get on the road to lakeville because this is pretty decent sick dude all right i got a nissan i got a 1995 uh cedric gran turismo listed for 89.5 what color is it silver Ugh. i know bummer Listed about a month ago in Forest Park, Georgia. Uh, these were all automatics. These are kind of big bodies, kind of boring, but they can be made to look very, very cool. Oh, hell and yeah, like VIP style. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And like the way the headlights have like the little... Bentley almost yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that always stood out to me about these. And I think that's only the Gran Turismos that have that. I could be wrong, but I think the Gran Turismo, that's like that style front end. Like... Because, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, those are sweet if you are into those type of cars, of course, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, because how much is that? Nine? Yeah, pretty much 9000 Yeah. I mean, you can get into that car for 9000 Yeah. And is it, you said, is it turbo? Are those turbo? No. Uh, don't think so. They have like a NA single cam V6. So it's like the base. Yeah, so... But I mean, <clears throat> for nine grand, you're getting into like a VIP style car. Yeah. If you clean that thing up, dump it on some sick wheels, yeah. like you're you're kind of off to the races already without yeah. having to go too crazy. So yeah, these were beast cars. Like they were, they were built to like you know compete with the BMWs and Mercedes and like the luxury cars. So these were like that side. Yeah, and they obviously built plenty of them. Oh, yeah. So it's not something that you're not going to be able to get parts for right, right. or that you're going to have to like search for. I mean, yeah, they're not the most insanely popular car in like the car culture, but yeah. you're still going to be able to find some dudes to like be homies yeah, with that yeah. have them, you know. Oh, absolutely. Um so I have a right-hand drive EF2 wagon that was listed moments Ooh, wow. ago. Dude, you're on the freshies. I know. I couldn't believe it. I was like, <laughs> holy moly. So this thing is in California with a California title. That's rare, wow, dude. That's rare. That's super How'd rare. How'd they do that? I know. I must have waited a while. And so this thing, yeah, it uh, no smog required because uh, of how old okay. it is or whatever. 
And so this thing is, I can imagine like a 89 or an 88 with 48,000 kilometers. (laughs) <laughs> like dude it's literally Nothing. brand new it's insane granted this is a ef2 wagon automatic like we're not talking you know like a si hatch right. or something but uh at twelve thousand dollars for something that is like twenty seven thousand miles or whatever it is yeah, like that's pretty insane. like fresh i mean maybe this isn't for the guy that wants to like completely deck something out but yeah. if like you're truly into Hondas and want a piece of history, this would be the car to get in the sense of how few miles it has. Right, right. Um, But it doesn't actually tell. I know it's in, like, L.A. area. It doesn't actually tell on here for some reason. Um, But, yeah, I mean, if you want a California-titled EF2 wagon, like, get over there. I mean... You got to be willing to spend twelve grand, and it's, you know you're only three grand off from a GTR roller with a feel side <laughs> yeah. wide body kit and stuff. So I don't know. That's a tough one, but True. it's out there. It's out there. All right. Uh, next for me, I got a pretty cool one here. Uh, it's a 1995 Subaru Legacy GT. I listed 15 days ago in Gainesville, Georgia. He's asking twenty thousand dollars. And, yeah, I know, me saying a Subaru is cool, like, why? What am I doing, right? Like, I would never say that. But this one is pretty decent. It's got the EJ20H twin turbo 2-liter flat 4 wow. with 5-speed manual transmission, okay? And the Tommy Kyra M20 TV body kit. Wow. Dude, this thing's a stunner. Let's see. Like... It's got the black oh, on yeah, black. Oh, no, that is sick. Dude, the, with the fog lights and the yeah. the eyebrows on the headlights, dude. Yeah, I didn't <sighs> even hear you at first. I was going to say that's the Legacy GT motor. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You went and you said it. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, yeah, it's crazy how during those certain years, Subaru was willing to put a twin turbo motor yeah. in these cars. And I mean, it's not like we're not, I, I mean... They're not even WRX sized turbos. It's not like they're like right, right. big, you know, not even the VF34 turbos are big, but like, yeah, I mean, th- there's two of them on there. Yeah. You know, yeah. So I mean, that's it's still cool. cool. It's yeah. Still unique. I mean, they were really going hard back in the 90s, you know, in some of these cars, like just twin turbos, twin charge, supercharge. Like, yeah, yeah. Dude, they were just boosting them all up. It's yeah, I know. Crazy. It was like they had just kind of figured out that it could be applied to like, that and they went really heavy with it and it worked yeah but then yeah. they were like oh well i guess we gotta reel this back in a little bit <laughs> like, <laughs> we can't be throwing two turbos on these cars right and, right know. right um but that's pretty cool that one is unique and there's definitely a like forester yeah like following yeah. for sure yeah yeah for sure i mean these these in particular i'm, I'm sure that Subi dudes are definitely into it. Subi them. dudes. And like this dude's daily driving this thing since he's owned it. That's yeah, pretty crazy I mean, too. Like <laughs> yeah, it's kind of scary, right? Yeah, like what's what's happening? The EJ, uh, <laughs> when it comes sure. to the head gasket. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and if he's been driving it any sort of hard, you know, I mean Oh yeah. So that's what's hard about some of these cars is as everybody knows, they're like I mean, who knows what the owner before you or the owner before them how they actually treated the car. Or the guy at port or anybody. Yeah, anybody. <laughs> the guy at the dealership. Yeah, whatever. Right. Uh, so I got a an MK4 Supra. Um, it is not telling me. It didn't tell me where it is specifically, but it is in the California area. Um, this is a right-hand drive, obvious, um, titled NA Auto Supra. So this is bottom of the rung. It runs and drives great. It's got an exhaust. It's got a body kit. It's got wheels. It's got carbon fiber hatch, carbon fiber hood. You know, all of these kind of things that people do when they should just be putting it into the motor. Yeah. You know, like in the sense of like... So, but, however, um, it does run and drive. And, oh, it's registered in Montana, of course. And it's thirty four grand. So that's like the thing about this. This is bottom of the rung, uh, 95, uh, 29 year old car, bottom of the rung, 29 year old car, 
thirty-four thousand yeah. dollars. Like it's just crazy with these things. And I, I mean, no disrespect to the Super Boys. Like, hey, get your money. Like, yeah. get your money, whatever. But it's just crazy to me that you know this is the equivalent of what a um, GT uh, R thirty-four GT. Yeah. Right. Like a NA Auto. Right. Skyline two door would not go for thirty four thousand dollars. No way. Like it's like, it, which maybe there was more of them produced. I don't. I don't know that those right. stats. But the, this just seems this inflation on these super prices. Supra prices just seems a little much. Yeah. And maybe this won't sell. It doesn't tell me how long it's been here. Maybe it won't sell. Maybe this guy's like wishing on a dream. You know. I but think he is. yeah, I do too. <laughs> but. <sighs> there are those dudes that I feel like are paying some of these prices because I don't know what it is. They're obsessed. They're desperate. What I'm not sure what it is, but they're helping contribute to those prices staying yeah, I know, there. Yeah. You know, and that's what's really hard. Um, so, I mean, if you are, if you're rolling in the dough and you want a project Supra um, that's NA Auto that without a cracked dash and all the other little things you can find it there i guess cool. it, it must be somewhere near montana yeah yeah mm -hmm. awesome yeah up next for me i got a 1999 honda vamos honda wa? vamos oh nice yeah i uh actually never really heard of these um this guy's asking 8900 bucks listed three months ago in smyrna georgia smyrna these i mean it's like a cool little van uh it's all-wheel drive five speed runs and drives great dude still no mileage guys put your mileage on your freaking ads <laughs> yeah like, seriously please dude even if it's the kilometers and we got to convert it it's not a big deal yeah like, <laughs> just not. put it out there that's this is like some main info um but yeah, whatever this van, I don't know if it's been painted or wrapped, but it's got like this nice like teal yeah, looking. Yeah, it looks clean. Cool little van for 8900 bucks. And so how long ago did you say? Three months ago. So that's what's hard, you know, about these things is, again, if somebody's not on their stuff and they don't right. take it off, like you could get all hard on about, you know, this car. But then when the guy finally replies, like, oh, sorry, I sold that two yeah. months ago. This guy might still have it because uh, at the end of it here, it says it cannot be tagged in Georgia anymore, which it's kind of weird because I don't know if this is considered a K, K van. It might be, but I've seen several other, while doing the search, I found several other K vehicles that mention nothing of their like registration yeah, issues. Yeah, dude, and, that's how they get you. And they did crack, start cracking down, <coughs> whatever, last last year at some yeah, point at the end yeah. of last year yeah georgia is one of those states so um yeah buyer beware for sure like always know what you're getting into when it comes to these yeah. things because there's nothing worse than getting back to your home state and you can't do nothing with it right besides right. rip it on your farm or your private property yeah yeah definitely definitely make sure you can register it um so i have another skyline this one is a 94 so r33 um it is a GTS, and so the reason why I picked this is because this would be a good daily for for a guy that wanted to throw it on some wheels and just, like, yeah. you know, cruise, like, you're not trying to touch the motor. Um, and reason being is this thing only has 30,000 miles, and it is completely clean minus a small uh, crack in the dash that's not, like, the standard crack. It's, like a very small crack. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it comes with a bunch of extra parts. It's had a tune-up. Maintenance is up to date. And it's over there in uh, Avondale, Arizona, listed four months ago. And you can kind of tell because he's dropped the price, like, probably quite a few times. Yeah. And now he's asking a straight-up 10000 bucks. Oh, wow. That's kind of a deal. Yeah, and that's what I mean when, like, you were talking about some of these other cars for this money, and I'm like, dang, like, I'm about to get, like, a, a GTS for ten grand with only 30,000 miles on it. Yeah. Like, over some of these other cars that maybe you're not going to modify anyways, 
and you're paying right. two thousand dollars less and it's not even close to the type of car so yeah. um yeah if you're looking for a dope daily definitely uh search over in the arizona area for this thing sweet <clears throat> cool up next i got a <clears throat> i got another car i really didn't know existed until i found this ad it's a 1998 mitsubishi legnum vr4 legnum. type s so uh this is pretty much like a is it a Gallant, I guess, or a, is that is yeah, that a Gallant? That's a Gallant. Or a yeah, it's like a Gallant. Uh, I remember seeing these in Japan all over the place. Uh, this particular one is a wagon, so it's pretty much like a Gallant wagon, but this thing has two turbos under the hood. Holy moly. Two turbos. They went crazy with the turbos in the 90s, man. They just like, threw, wow. Throw two on everything, That's right? a VR4, you said, right? Yep. It's the VR4. So it's yeah. got a, you know the all-wheel drive and the AYC. Active yaw control. Yeah, they came up. What year is that? This is a uh, 98. Yeah, because that was uh, around the time that they started adding that into the Evos. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, makes sense. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty cool looking car, though. I mean, I mean people yeah, probably think I, you're driving around a Gallant until they Yeah, those get had like on. a following. <laughs> like those yeah. for sure had a following because I remember when I was like heavy into Evos, that, was ba- that car was basically what... You know the dudes. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and like. Oh, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and they it would basically be like that was superior to the Evo because of the motor, <laughs> and you know it'd be this whole thing, and like which whatever, like may I have no clue. I've never raced them side by side or whatever, but it, right, it was just funny because right, right. those were clearly more affordable than an Evo. You yeah. Know? So, um, I remember those for sure. These are probably like the bigger like more grand touring type car whereas the yeah. evo was like the sport car right because that's a six cylinder right uh i'm dude i'm honestly not sure because that's basically like a 3000 gt oh okay right right that's where the vr4 yeah as well okay that yeah, would make so sense it makes sense i mean that would make sense and then it's all-wheel drive like i mean it's yeah kind of i'm a little slow when it comes to the mitsubishi yeah me but, too but i mean but hey, yeah, yes. don't scold me, guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but this one's fourteen five. I don't know if I said that fourteen five in Villa Rica, Georgia. How long was it listed? Three months ago. Oh, so. Yeah, see, these are tough. Um, so I found a Spec R Sylvia, um, an S fifteen in L A, and this was listed twenty seven days ago, and it's listed by a dealer, Shogun Motorsports. And Shogun says that this has 130,000 original miles and uh, that it's got the aero kit, the six-speed, the SR20, of course, you know, all the spec car stuff pretty much, plus some little carbon fiber bits, um, wheels. And so, again, this thing was listed 27 days ago, uh, and they want 36,000 for it. Yeah, and so... I mean, in California, this is this would probably be going price, I would say. Yeah. Like, anywhere else, especially if you're doing it yourself, it's definitely, like, you can get one yourself in Japan for probably 10 grand less. Right. So, I mean, maybe even a little bit less than that. So, I mean, these are Cali prices. This is how it goes there. These people know that, you yeah. know. So, but if you are in Cali and you're looking for a Spec R, I mean, I would love a Spec R, but this thing's silver, um again carbon fiber hood and whatnot thirty six thousand and one dollar hit up shogun motorsports shogun motorsports shogun word all right so my next one is going to be a 1992 honda beat nice yeah but just wait this one was listed about a month ago asking nine thousand bucks in athens georgia 9k this thing Hmm. Ah, I didn't save the picture of it, but this thing has nitrous. Oh wow! He has nitrous on a Honda Beat. Where does he even Whoa, put the bottle? Oh, dude, that thing must like. Where do you put the bottle? So it's got BC Racing coilovers, uh, Honda Civic front brake upgrades, genuine HKS cold air intake, full exhaust, wide band, nitrous express wet shot kit, and a Momo steering wheel. Wow. <laughs> The nitrous is a 25 shot. The car made 49 horsepower with no nitrous, 74 
with wow, nitrous. Wow, <laughs> dude, that's crazy. The car made 74 horsepower. <laughs> the engine is very healthy and happy. Well, not for long. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, Damn. nitrous engines, I feel like, are a ticking time bomb. Oh, like for it, sure. Even I if mean, it doesn't matter if it's a wet or how safe it is, it's just like anything. You know, yeah. If you put too much boost to an engine, it's going to break yeah. eventually. And with that, you're adding, like, heat for sure. And, dude, this thing is, like, can you imagine what that would feel like? You know, boosting from 49 horsepower to 74 oh, at the push insane. of a button. With that thing, yeah. <laughs> for sure, dude. He's tired of going through tires. That's why he's selling that thing. Dude, it got to be. But, yeah, I mean, this thing only had 34,000 miles. That's low. Yeah, and he's willing to trade for an 05 and up Tundra, GX470, or EP3 Civic. Oof. That's kind of weird, but whatever. I trade we'll him, him an EP3 for that, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so over, let's see, I got um, a 1990 300ZX twin turbo 2 plus 2, and it's got super low miles. Uh, which he doesn't actually list the number of miles. He just says <laughs> it's great. It's got really low miles on it. Um, and so it runs great, brand new battery. He just wants somebody to come take it off his hands. He's asking 10 grand. It's red. It's got the exhaust. It's got the turbos. It's got some black TE37s. I mean, it's like not bad. I mean, I'm personally not a 300 ZX fan whatsoever. Yeah. But for 10 grand, like this is a great project to, you know, really clean up and, you know, you got a son, you want to get him a cool first car, like this is like a not bad first car, right? For yeah, 10 yeah. grand. Um and I would assume this is in the LA area. Uh so yeah, just search the 300 ZX and you'll find this little red pup. Nice, dude. Cool. Um, last one for me. I got a 1997 Nissan Silvia S14 Qs. Nice. Uh, automatic transmission, uh, non-turbo, four lug. You know, pretty much base yeah, model. Base. But it's got you know it's got the the K's rear wing on it, so that's cool. Uh, it's listed for sixteen thousand seven hundred. Listed two months ago in Alpha Rated, Georgia. Not too much more info on this one. It's got eighty two thousand miles. And that's pretty much it, you know, just typical clean yeah, silver. Yeah, it's a stock. good base. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially do a swap or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so my last regular car is is one of my favorite regular cars, and it is a an, a ninety seven EK nine Civic Type R, and this is located in El Mirage, Arizona. And it was listed 13 days ago. Um, he's got a few things on here. He's got, you know, some rarities like spoon carbon fiber wing, stage 21 front bumper, titanium J's exhaust with a little down yeah, tip. Yeah. yeah, those are so sick. Um, and it's on Aragosta coilovers. Now, he doesn't... I t- doesn't list the miles. <laughs> it's so weird, dude. Like, this episode, we are... We have somehow like come across Not all nobody. freshies with no miles listed. <laughs> like that's like odd. But anyways, so this thing's championship white. You know, it's got the full stock interior. All, all of it's clean. You know, it's got the OEM wheels. Yeah, uh, it's got a few like little you know blemishes on the body, but um, really not bad. These are have climbed in price, especially over the past two years, and. The, he is asking twenty eight thousand dollars. I mean, this is honestly going right for these yeah. already being in the United States. I've right. been like on top of these, and this is pretty much going right. And so, yeah. which sucks for somebody like me or anybody that really wants one, but whatever. Um, and if you're interested and you got the cash, head head on down to El Mirage, Arizona, and you know, search the Type R and. Go buy your next car. Get it. Um, so at this point in the episode, you know, we've both run through nine or ten cars that we thought, you know, you guys might be interested in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to run through a car that you just pretty much should avoid, yeah. you know, for one reason or another. And um, I'll let you start. Oh, wow. Well. 
So uh, with mine, it's not so much the car, but also the way the person has the car listed for sale that kind of... Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, right. you know it's going to be a hassle. When you see the price it. tag is one, two, three, four. Yeah. Like, you know it's going to be something silly going on with it, right? Uh, here I got a 96 Suzuki Auto Works RSZ. And, I mean, the car itself is just like that faded red yeah yeah Dude, yeah with just, the two-tone just, with the silver yeah you know like when that thing gets wet it really brightens up and looks great yeah 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 i'm <laughs> but, sure yeah it's rough but uh the car itself uh they have this crazy long ad talking about how it's a true jdm car how it handles like a go-kart and cordons incredibly well well i mean it's like a k car yeah it kind of is a go-kart yeah and i'm um, sure it corners well with 15 horsepower dude and then when they're bragging about the the speed topping out at 85, but we'll do 120 without the restrictor. Oh, wow. Takes out the restrictor plate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the red dragon. All right, Dale picked. Jarrett, chill. <laughs> like, just relax. But yeah, I mean, they just like go on and on about how how cool their car is. And then at the end, they're just, just seeing what trains it'll bring, what trades it will bring. I love the car, so I'm not in a hurry to get rid of it. Also hearing cash offers. So it's like, Okay. So you you just want to talk to people about your car online? Is that Word. just what you want to do? So you're bored. <laughs> like, you're, yeah. Forums disappeared. You're bored. You're just putting out. Dude, Facebook whenever marketplace. whenever I see these cars like the, or these ads like this where it says, "Oh, I'm just up for any trades, but not anything specific," and then they say, oh, no, I'll, "I'll hear cash offers too." Like, okay. what are you doing? This is not how you sell yeah, a car. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. Go to a car meet and talk about your car. Like. Get out. Get out of the house. Get off the internet. Go do right. something. Stop Stop trolling us. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um. So, yeah, don't buy that car. I mean, yeah. you can buy the car if you, like, really want the car. Just, like, you know when you go there, you are you are committing to an hour plus of just chatting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least. You know those guys. And, dude, another one. No mileage. Mm. <laughs> Throw it away. Yeah. So, okay, my... My um, little warning car here is a 94 Mazda RX-7. Oof. And it's not the ad that, you know, really makes me not recommend this car. It is because the ad is simple. FD RX-7 shell. This is a shell. There's no motor. Uh, it's right-hand drive, California registered. If you know anything about, if you know anything about, you know how much it costs. So that's what they say? Yes. <laughs> so that's what he's saying. Like, pretty much like this shell, and I'm about to get to why I don't recommend this car, but this shell is worth 10 grand because you can, it's got the, I've got the pink in hand for California, you know, which <laughs> <laughs> like I get, I get that part, right? Like, yeah. you know, this is a really hard process, whatever. Dude, this shell is fucking destroyed. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. Like, dude, the windshield's blown out. There's, dude, the the rat's nest of this, dude. Every single part that was here and Absolutely on the interior. Not, dude. dude, it's all in the interior. Dude, I'm sorry. Take it to the junkyard. Dude, the axles, everything's in the interior. <laughs> like, like, dude, he's got spare tires on every friggin' wheel. Like, dude, asking 10 grand. This 10 is grand? some LA shit right here. This is some, this is, and that's what I meant. Like, dude, dude wow. this is some LA shit. They'll sit here and be like, hey, you can register this in California with about $78,000 in work, yeah, if not more, dude. honestly. Like, that yeah. thing looked like a lost cause. You know, no it, offense to RX7 owners, but holy cow, yeah. that thing was wrecked. It's, it's destroyed, and like, whoever dismantled it and shit didn't give a fuck about it. And like, they, you can just tell, I hate. When dudes come on asking big money for cars that they have axles in the fucking interior. <laughs> yes, literally, you know, and, but so, yeah, I mean, I don't recommend buying that car unless like you've been looking for this specific shell and like it does not matter to you because you're ripping right. everything out of or it. Or you crash doors and you're swapping everything over. And you just need to be able to register something in California, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you got some crazy yeah. Yeah, circumstances, then you could grab it, but... Otherwise, I'd steer clear. Um, Good so, idea. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Definitely, um, hopefully, we've helped you guys figure out potentially a 
car that you're interested in. If not, we still appreciate you listening along and just hearing kind of what the state of the market is and, yeah. you know, what is going for how much and where. Um, please definitely tell your buddies, tell your homies, tell your girlfriend. We don't care. Tell them to listen to the podcast. <laughs> we appreciate you guys' support forever. And follow us on the socials at RHDGUIS. And for episode 75, the May Marketplace Sweep. I'm Bobby. This is Aaron. See ya. Peace.